There he is. That's a good one. Really? Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh my god, look at the size of this fish, dude. Oh my god! Whoa. What the hell? Get a camera on the chatter dog, be careful. Oh, my custom tied chatter dog. Straight from Japan! Don't lose him. Look at this freaking horse! <laughs> Hand tied skirt, brother! Good night! I think we got maybe 25 now, 26. Yeah, yeah buddy. Another epic day. Damn, man. I felt the grass. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yo, yo, Smallmouth Crush here. Back at it again. Epic Eric in the house. What's up? Actually, I'm in his house. We're going to be talking about chatterbaiting. Yeah, man. Springtime, that's kind of what you throw. You do. Grass gets a little up. Even in the wood, we're going to break it all down in today's video. That's all coming up. Right on. We are live. What's going on, guys? We're going to talk chatterbaits today. We're actually doing an Instagram live as well. As What's the up? Actual youtube video which will be up shortly so just so you know eric when we're talking we have to be focused Look on the, top the camera. camera sorry not guys. necessarily down here there's down something here. else going on that's the live portion that's the live that's not anyways so i'm gonna focus up here already did the introduction that's right and we want to talk chatterbait because we both love the chatterbait i love the chatterbait as soon as the ice goes out right on all the way up into the fall but especially in that pre-spawn mm. and post-spawn time mm. frame yeah, I fish a lot of grass. Me too. I know we can fish cheddar baits around rock, hard wood, cover, sure. wood, any and all. It excels in the grass, though, for me. It does. It's a snaggy bait for sure. Uh, there's some better chatter baits for hard cover, but you know, arguably right now this is the most popular chatter bait on the market. What is? This is the jackhammer. Oh, Jack Hama. Jack Hama. I fish Jack Hama a lot. Yes, that's right. That's I right. love fishing jackhammers. In fact, why do we like it? I love the hook. I love carbon how... steel. Yes. Carbon steel, super sharp, super strong. And you know what? I like a chatterbait that has the blades painted. Mm -hmm. If I'm targeting fish around grass that are on that perch, bluegill bite, right on. crayfish bite, Yep. Now, if I was on a shad deal and yeah. I wanted a little flash, boom! I'm definitely going to use a silver sunny day blade. Get a little flash, right? Chrome. In addition to the vibration, right? And then we got a little bit of gold blade action as well. 100 percent, man. What's your favorite blade? Ooh, color, man. I'd say black. Do you, you just know, like a dull blade? Day in, day out, black. For I think sure. it sneaks up on them. It does. I think they feel the vibration. They don't necessarily mm -hmm. get. Uh, freaked out by the flash. Right, right. Maybe there's a lot of guys in yeah. an area throwing a flashy 100%. chatterbait. And a that's more why subtle. I just feel I have more confidence throwing a darker bladed jig. Right if on, that man. makes sense. So um, before the jackhammer, there was a bait out of Japan that I, I came upon, which uh, is still money today. It's a little bit different than the jackhammer. And I'll show you why. So let me just grab one. This is my favorite. The black and blue. So a couple different things. I just realized I hate to interrupt. We could talk an hour about the trailers even. Yeah, no doubt about it, right? We should touch so, base, but go ahead. Yeah, shaddy trailers, crawl trailers, really, I don't think it matters. I mean, whatever you're turned on to, if they're focused on crawl, sure. Throw a crawfish trailer. If it's a shad bite, throw a, throw a minnow imitation. But there are certain things about trailers that help you catch more fish. We've Absolutely. all been out there, right? We get the chatterbait jam and we don't hook up. Why? The trailer, in part, is part of the problem. That'll come up a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so you hold up that jackhammer. I'm yes. A, I'm going to hold there up this go. bait. Because I love a jackhammer. Which is going to be this unnamed. This is a half okay, ounce. So half ounce. Half ounce. So this is a this is a 3 8 ounce uh, unnamed chatterbait out of Japan. So notice the line tied directly on top of the head. I don't know if that's focused on it, but anyway. Um, same thing. High carbon steel hook. This is their monster version. The head, the head shape is completely different Bruce, than the jackhammer. Sit down a little bit. I am. Take I just wanted easy. to show people. They got all right. It. All right. Okay. Black blade. Um, this is a hunting chatterbait. The jackhammer does have a little bit of hunting action, but this is crazy, super erratic. Mm. This thing will not track straight. So it's going to go straight, okay. then it's going to pop off to the side and come back to center, right? 
super high carbon steel hook. It's monster. I've caught big bass on that. It's dynamite. I like a, you know, a crawl trailer on it in the mm -hmm. spring, black blade, right? Yeah. But the line tie wow. is different. It's above sure. the head. In the hydrodynamic aspect of this head and how it was designed, it was made to hunt. I have stoned them on this. It's still I in my arsenal. I know you have. I'll, I'll throw a jackhammer, but sure. I'll throw this also. So, because deflection, as we all know, creates. Did you tell the name of that? Or is I'm, that not, one I'm, we're not, not, I'm not telling you the name. So of we're this. not going to say anything. I can't. Are these it? No, that's different. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing a video on Chatterbait, but we're not going to let you know what that one is. I'm well, sorry. That's I'm not my style because on Smallmouth Crush <laughs> we pretty much share everything. However, I am a guest. In Eric's home. That's right. And if he doesn't want to talk about the brand, he doesn't right. have to. I just have to keep that one under the wrap, okay? So this one, this is a snaggy bait. So I don't love it in wood. I can get it through, but it will hang up in cover. The jackhammer is better in cover because of the way the head is. So I like this as a pure grass bait. Mm -hmm. I'll throw it around wood. I've, I've killed them, but man, I get hung up. So I don't know sure. about you, but throwing a chatter bait around heavy cover is a tough deal. Yep. Tough deal. So... Uh, when it comes to cover cranking for chatterbaits, I got a few that I like, and I think we should talk about those now. Can we talk about them? We can, can we talk, talk about, about that the one. name of the bait at least. We can talk about it because this is a chatterbait version, and it's a weedless chatterbait what? version. Yeah, so uh, it's not in production anymore, but it is oh. made by Chatterbait. If you can find them, it came with a rattle. I don't know if you can hear that. You probably can't hear it, but it's a beaded rattle on the end. But it has a round bend hook. Let me get up here and show everybody. See that round bent hook on the bottom? So you can weedlessly, and it's got a corkscrew for the trailer at the head of the bait right here. And then there's a little black rattle down here. So it creates a nice little rattle. So it's very unique for a chatterbait. You don't find many people throwing a chatterbait with a rattle. Um, black blade, they made it in three ounce, three eighths ounce, quarter and a half ounce. This will come through cover. Sure. So a big advantage for me right there in cover. Because if you can get a chatterbait through cover where most people aren't throwing it, you can score big. Right, and, and who makes that one again? Farm. Chatterbait. Chatterbait. Z-Man. Straight up. Z-Man. It's out of production. Out of production. You yeah. might be able to find some, but I don't okay. know. Okay. But just, uh, it's a weedless Z-Man Chatterbait. Gotcha. Go look for it. Next. Okay, let's talk about some of these. Oh, man. Who ever heard of the D&M Piranha? So, D&M. Not me. They kind of got, uh, they got in a little legal trouble okay. because their Chatterbait, um, you know, everybody probably heard that Z-Man was after everybody that made a chatterbait. Sure. Right, so D&M made a piranha, and so they still make their piranha jig head, mm -hmm. and you can buy blades and make your own chatterbait. Interesting. That's this right here. This is a really unique bait. The, the, so the blade is a different shape than a typical chatterbait. Chat, you want to hold that blade up of yours? Sure. Yeah, sh show okay. everybody. Okay, so see the difference in the blade configuration? Let's let's show these guys too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just give some love to the uh Yeah, it's Instagram. good. It's good. So this is a bluegill color. I love a bluegill colored bait, black blade again. This thing is a hard thumping, wild, and it does hunt, by the way. Mm -hmm. So if you want a domestic made one, get yourself a DNM piranha jig head, swim jig head, bend the eye out, put a blade on it. And you'll have your yourself Perfect. a chatterbait. That's a tip for everybody. Love so it. That, maybe that makes up for not telling them about my little secret. It just Japanese might. Bait. It just might. But uh, very different than the jackhammer. We'll keep that out. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show you. So I think Brett Height designed this. This is the Zacco. So see how easy that tail collapses right there? It just folds over. Yep. So when a bass goes to take it, it does not impede the strike. It doesn't Let me impede see that. it. Yeah, it collapses and it was made to collapse. So if a right. See how easy that is? That's why a lot of times they come in this way they too, do. though, bro. They do on the side. Everyone thinks, yeah. but a lot of times. But yeah, I hear your point. Push, they'll heat it side right. Definitely. Yeah. It was never explained to me that way. There's another little. Um, well, that's that's why it was done that way because it really collapses, so you, you get a better hook. I should with be that. taking notes. You should. You should. Um, let's go to. Uh, uh, okay, I got another one for you. Uh, where is that bait? Oh yeah. Do you want to show them the little custom jig like it? No, let's you know not what? do that. You, okay. No, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, here you go. Now, this is not a chatterbait. We can talk about it, this. It's a hard body chatterbait, it right? Is, it's yes. JDM, man. It's yes. the Alive Chatter by Imakatsu. Oof. Oof. It's pretty cool, man. So, uh, it's funky. And we'll do a close-up of this for you guys on, on YouTube. Here. Yeah, this is not a grass-based chatterbait because it's got two sets of Exposed treble, treble hooks. Exposed treble hooks, but... On top, it's a hard body minnow with two treble hooks below. 
The skirted treble hooks give it a ton of action mm -hmm. and appeal in the water, right? Yep. So early spring with pre-emergent grass, I can rip this out like I would a crankbait. A bait. great bait around riprap. 100%, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. maybe more cover cranking, if you will, yep. right? Or chatter baiting. Mm -hmm. So this is going to go into the mix this year, man. See it live on the water. Absolutely. With smallmouth crush and epic Eric. I'm, I'm coming in. I'm coming in <laughs> hot with new It's things. a great color, too, by the way. Yeah, man. And then I, I think we covered this in, in part of your story, but this is pretty cool. I'll, I'll show people what this is all about. So this is a, a finesse chatterbait. A lot of people have never heard of a finesse chatterbait, but I have. It's a shaky chatter, and it's by Garage Craft. So really small bait. I've got it kind of paired up with uh, a small conquistador tackle, little jig trailer, micro, um, little short burps of the rod. Um, by the way, that's a great muddy water color, everybody. Everybody's seen chartreuse and blue, but if it's muddy and you want to throw a chatterbait, they will find that bad boy right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. But I like this little micro chatterbait finesse applications early spring, right. cold water. They will eat it. I'm just trying to read that bait. Yeah, I know it's gonna okay. it's gonna be tough. Okay. It's gonna be tough. So I got a bunch of these in my hands. The hula chat. You want to talk about them real quick? Uh, BTC. I apologize to you in advance, but this is a cover cranking chatterbait okay the way the blade is attached to the top of the head that thing will hit cover and deflect off it doesn't roll that's the problem with a chatterbait even spinner baits when i'm chucking in the wood you know those baits have a tendency to roll and snag you up mm -hmm. so this chatterbait very hard heard, to get a chatterbait through wood 100 percent. but if you can you will get bit mm -hmm. i had a day in matter woman i fished a regular chatterbait the crazy one from japan i yep. did the brown craw color had a little bluegill flavor to it and absolutely wore them out after sure. i did that came back through with a drop shot uh -huh. same wood and caught more and a snakehead i gotcha that was pretty cool i gotcha yeah interesting oh yeah that's another little concept man have you ever thrown two skirts on a chatterbait no slows the fall yep. allows the bait to float a little bit more above the cover keep that low key oh we are on the film though very interesting yeah yeah a lot of chatterbait tricks you can come up with i'm going to show everybody wow. this one because i'm proud of it sure so I wanted a chatterbait that had a lot of action. And so we all know Marabou and we all know about um, bunny fur, right? Strips. If you're yep. a fly fisherman or you tie flies, which I do, um, I use a lot of materials to dress up baits. And this is one thing I did with this one. So I took a zonker strip, a zonker strip, which is nothing but a fat rabbit um, fur with a little bit. And what I did was I tied it to the shank. I use cross-cut rabbit on the middle of the shank, and then I put some flash boom in the middle. So it's a super flashy, shaddy type of chatterbait, and this mm -hmm. thing absolutely catches them. The action... I've seen you catch a few fish on that. The action of bunny. Now, the problem with that is when it comes out of the water, it retains water, so you really got to take care of the bait. It's a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, there's wow. just the action. Of, when that gets wet, there's nothing like it. Sure. There's no other trail. And talk about collapsibility. Yeah. It gets. N I'm so ready to go chatterbait fishing. Hello. Let's go. Hello. Let's go. Yeah. Dude, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So custom made right there, man. That's a custom dealio. Now we're gonna do a lot of springtime fishing. We will be throwing the chatterbait. I I'd love to talk more specific on the rod setup. Um, I know we kind of differ in the style a little bit. I like a real nice bend on my rod, almost like a fiberglass rod. Well, I do. I, the the the. I mean, Fred Height. Uh, mm -hmm. through the the leopard and I yeah. own one you do yeah it's upstairs I bro. didn't know this yeah man and there's been a couple other ones there's a zodiac which is uh, I think it was made by Shimano sure and it's a it's a fiberglass it might be a blend and uh, the other one I'm real fan of is the Loomis uh, crank and stick it's a fiberglass graphite blend and it has a parabolic action to it because you really want to let the fish suck the bait in and you kind of lean into them when you're chatterbait fishing. Sure, so I've got sure. three different rods I throw. I know Dobbins makes a really good rod that I like to use. On camera, I was using that Brett Height rod Ooh. on my custom skirt tie yes. Japanese I'm chatterbait. I'm going to find that. We're going we're gonna, to, we're probably going to watch that right now. Because that thing was about what, seven That pounds? was a good fish. Yeah, that was that a damn was a really good, good fish. fish. You were proud of that custom chatterbait that you designed or Hello. you know. You know it. We found that little grass patch, Main yep. River, yep. and there was that big female post pre-spawn. Pre what type of line do you like to use on a chatter? Um, let's see. Anything from 12 pound, which is really odd. Most people wouldn't throw 12 pound on their chatter bait, but you get a lot more action out of the bait. 
all the way up to 20, mm -hmm. depending upon the application. Sure, all, I would say... All fluorocarbon. Yeah, I like gamma. I would be in the bet that 15 to 17 pound yeah. test yeah, that's probably, range for the most part. That's, yeah, 15 is like what I throw normally mm -hmm. if I'm heavy, cover 20. Sure. You know, just, just grind at it. And when the grass gets really thick, don't hate me, but if you take braided line out there, you can continue throwing that chatterbait way later than most people. Sure. Because I don't know if you tried, but I've tried snapping it out of grass with even fluorocarbon. It just doesn't do the job. Absolutely. You throw 30 pound braid, just hold on. That's right. You better have a rod with a parabolic fin. There you go. Tip. Crash course and chatterbait. Can't wait to actually get out there and do it this year. Hey Dude, guys, I'm let me stoked. know what your favorite chatterbait is, bait is in the Chatter comments baiting. below. Hello. Give us a like. And as always, until next time, we'll see you on the water. See you guys. Okay, another video. That was done. Good, dude. We're still live though down here. Oh, so. what? Uh